Hello there, Taurus. Let's look at your messages for the new moon coming up this weekend, Sunday or Monday, depending on where you're at. It's like overnight Sunday, very early Monday. Uh, new moon is a great time for manifesting what you want to see, hap see play out in the next two weeks, the next month, the next year five years, whatever. Um, it kicks it off, right? The new moon is when it's at the darkest and then the light starts to grow outward from there. The energy picks up from there. So sowing the seeds of what it is that you desire. This is what I want to see happen. And then as the moon grows, you watch it come to come to fruition or whatever can happen in those two weeks is, is going to come to fruition. So let's find out, Taurus, for you, uh, what to keep in mind for creating your masterpiece, right? Ooh, I can see Taurus being an artist as they're figuring out what they want under that Aries new moon. Okay, we got the Six of Cups. I sense some nostalgia that's holding you back the way things used to be. And then we have the Empress, that's you. Okay, so like if, if there is for you Taurus, a feeling like you'd like to create something that happened in the past. It's like you're, you're using the framework and the Empress, of course, is the great creator, right? Um, so you do have, I feel like your powers, I'm like digressing a little bit. Your powers of manifestation are very, very strong this month under, under this new moon. So you can create anything you want, but if you're doing it under the framework of something that has already existed and has already passed, only you're only doing it because that's the framework that you knew made you happy before. But if you allow yourself, change the frame to, um, I don't know what this is going to look like, but here's the vibration that I want to have rather than being having this really specific goal that can't come to pass because it's already done and gone and the door's shut. All right, so I don't know what it is that you wanted or you do want that happened in the past that like it left an imprint on you that made you, that you're just kind of stuck on still. But that is done. The cards want you to know that that is done and that there's a new phase coming. Something new is coming. But if there was a vibration that you really enjoyed about that, you can recreate it. You can go back to it. And I have a feeling it has a lot to do with love and romance because this is definitely a, a love and romance kind of card. Um, it's that naive, sweet, romantic energy of just sharing, sharing with each other. And yeah, you can have that, but it may not necessarily be the same person as it was before. You can have that, but like, how are you going to progress? How are you going to ascend if you're still trying to make the same thing happen over and over and over again, right? So the universe is trying to help you out by not taking you back to the same old thing that's not going to help you grow. The universe wants you to create and create something totally new, a brand new masterpiece for your own life. This is where I'm going to leave off. Taurus, if you love this reading, make sure and subscribe because I post readings for you, short, sweet, to the point, two or three times a week. So I will see you later. 